a lot of the functions in Macabacus work around the concept of cycles. For example, we have a font color cycle and a fill color cycle here. Let's move up to the title and focus our attention here. If we work through this font color cycle, we can see that we're able to cycle through all the available font colors that we've programmed into this particular setting. If we then try the fill color cycle, again, we're cycling through all the different options that we have available for fill colors. This enables us to really, really quickly get the formatting that we're looking for. It's important for us to be able to understand how to get to the settings for these cycles and also how to configure them so we can move really quickly in Microsoft Excel. Let's go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon and click Settings and then Configure. We're just looking at colors, so let's look into the colors section on the left. We can see here that the font color cycle is right at the top and then the fill color cycle is next up. We would highly recommend that you keep the number of items in these cycles to a maximum of six. Why? Because we want to be able to move through them really, really quickly. Another great tip is to put all the items that you're going to use the most right at the beginning of the cycle. That's so that you can get to them super fast without executing many keystrokes. As we start experimenting more with Macabacus, we're going to notice that these cycles come up in so many locations. At the beginning, we might just use the default settings that are embedded in the software. But as we get more comfortable, we're going to want to configure these to suit our own needs and put all of the options that we use the most right at the beginning of these cycles. That's going to be the key to us working faster and more efficiently in Excel and just getting more done. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and we'll see you soon in the next video.